Good evening, everybody. Hi, this is Anisha from Oman Book Lovers Club, and we are back with another in our series of live chats with authors. Um, I should take a second to allow Instagram to send out notifications. And yes. So before we get Louis in, just to say a quick hello and thank you, everybody who's joining in today and tuning into this little chat. If you have been following our live chat series, uh, you know who we are, where, what do we do, and what we are here for. Today is a quick introductory chat, uh, which is a prologue to the live chat with Louis Fain, which is scheduled for Friday, December third at 4 p.m. GST, which is noon GMT. So I will not take more time to introduce Oman Book Lovers Club today. Let's get to the good part. And I'm getting Louis in. There she is. Hello. Hello. It worked. Thank you so much. It worked. Hi. Thank you so much Hi. for joining. Taking the time out, Louis. It's been a pleasure. Well, thank you so much for inviting me on to your lovely book club. I'm really excited to to be there on Friday. Thank you. Thank you so much. So. Um, Uh, I will not take too much time introducing yourself. The whole idea of this this quick introductory live, which we call the prologue in the bookish terms, <laughs> is to get to know you, is to create a teaser for the main chat, and to introduce to the audience uh, what to expect in the main chat. So uh, I would request you to quickly tell the audience and the members of the book club a little bit about yourself. Who is Louis Pin? Sure. So I'm Louise Fine. I write historical fiction novels. Um, so far, they've all been set in the 20th century, um, and they tend to involve um, topics for discussion. So um, things which have resonance with today, as well as being part of their time. Um, they're fictional stories. But they all are based around real events that happened, um, and I try to set my books at times of um, social change and uh, where there's conflict, because that's always a great backstop for a story. Um, so my first novel, um, People Like Us, uh, also known as Daughter of the Reich in the in the States, um, is set in 1930s Leipzig um, at a time when the Nazis had just come to power. And it's um, it's a story about brainwashing of young people and um, what happens when a young girl um, who is brainwashed into Nazism falls in love with a Jewish boy. Um, my second novel is set in 1920s England and is um, based around the eugenics movement, which was very very um, strong in the UK and the US at the time. And it's about a couple who support the eugenics movement, and then they have a child of their own who turns out not to be quite perfect. Um, so on Friday, I hope I'll tell you a little bit more about the novels, um, also about my writing process, how I came to be published, um, any questions about writing or anything about the publishing world. I'm happy to answer them. Um, I've been really lucky. My book has been published in lots of different languages as well. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to to chat away <laughs> about all of it. You have answered all the questions that I was about to ask. So thank you. <laughs> in the past, a few chats. This is episode five of the season one, which has seven episodes. And from the first episode onwards, during the live chat, there have been a lot of questions from the members, from the viewers. About the publishing process, so yes, that's definitely of interest, and that's something we will talk about in greater detail. Of course, about both of your books, and also um, more than you know, just the writing part. When the books are about uh, something which uh, is around a social change, a uh, sensitive subject, which is also going to have an impact on the life we lead today. You know, because a lot of these topics may be based in the past, but they may be relevant to today's life too. So. I'm really looking forward to talking to you more about that. And uh, you also said that some both the stories, uh, the inspiration from for both come from some yes. family uh, 
events or, or family history so we would we'll talk about that too in more yeah, detail that's right definitely yes looking forward to it yeah and well, probably also something that the audience should know while louis fain writes serious on some serious subjects she's not so serious person in the <laughs> <Not. laughs> i know i write really <laughs> serious books but i'm actually not like that <laughs> a lot of fun a great human being very very sweet and cooperative that's been my experience so far with you so thank you thank so you. much um also uh, i would like to ask you the friday session at 4 pm who is it for what would you say who should attend so i'm sorry i i didn't catch that you broke up a little bit can you just repeat what you just said yeah. so i'm saying the chat on friday with you uh who would you say is it for who should attend who should attend oh um readers any writers um anyone who loves books basically um is welcome because we'll be talking all around the subject um and anyone who loves history as well um yeah. and wants to learn about you know things that happened in the past and how it, history seems to always repeat um which is something that fascinates me research as well we can talk about the research process which i think is quite interesting um i love it just as much as i do the fiction side so um we can talk about that too yeah so not just uh, fans of historical fiction but also readers in general people who care about social issues who would like to discuss that um and anybody who would probably be aspiring to be a writer themselves so yeah. everybody is welcome it's going to be a fun session so that's about it for now anything else you would like to add from your side uh just i mean i don't know what the weather's like where you are but where we are it's dark and wet and cold and it's the best time to be inside reading mm-hmm. books or listening to podcasts or watching instagram lives or facebook <laughs> and uh curl up with a nice cup of tea and we'll see you on friday <laughs> perfect when uh, it's never cold it's really really rarely cold so just december and january are the months which are pleasant enough to step out of the house okay. so this is typically this part of the world gulf is hot yeah. so temperatures start up to 50 degrees in the peak of summer wow. so uh, december and january is the perfect time when it's pleasant to sit in your balcony and read which i did last night <laughs> <laughs> wait i'll sit on your balcony with a cup of tea and yeah. we'll be tell us where we are <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah great i think uh, we'll uh, that's it for today because we would leave all of the interesting stuff to talk about on friday yeah. and uh, thank you once again louis for agreeing to come on the chat with us it's really an honor and i look forward to talking to you on friday thank you take care bye <laughs> Bye bye. Thank you all for joining in today, and see you on Friday at 4 p.m. GST, which is 12 noon GMT. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye.